Today, we're talking about something crucial for your business, your brand strategy. Before diving into social media, logo design, or email campaigns, we need to establish the direction your company's brand will take. You might be thinking, but we already have a logo. We're active on social media. We've sent out email blasts and just launched our new website. And that's great. But even if you've already started, it's never too late to develop a solid branding strategy with your team. Let's break it down. Branding Strategy 101. We'll walk through the steps to create a unique, powerful, and engaging brand that your target market will love. First, what is brand strategy? Simply put, it's the who, what, where, why, and how of your company. It revolves around your goals and values. Think of an iconic brand like McDonald's. You probably think of red and yellow, the golden arches, Ronald McDonald, or the phrase, I'm loving it. But McDonald's brand is more than that. It's the quality of the food, the consistency, the customer service, the speed of delivery, and those iconic product names like McMuffin, McRib, and Big Mac. You know what to expect from McDonald's because their brand strategy is their promise to you. So what's your promise to your customer? The first step is to define your brand. Ask yourself if you asked everyone in your company, what is our brand? Would you get the same answer from everyone? If not, gather your team and start asking questions. Who are we? What's our mission? What's different about our products and services? Who is our ideal customer? How do our customers feel about us? What do we want people to feel when they think about us? Why do our customers choose us? Once you have these answers, you're ready to move forward. If not, take the time to find them. This process can be uncomfortable, but it's essential. If there are things you think customers associate with your brand, but you'd rather they didn't, like slow service or poor quality, this is your chance to change those things. Your brand is a promise to your customer, so determine what you want to promise them. Now that you've defined your brand, it's time to establish your identity. This involves showing what makes your business unique, relevant, and capable of exceeding your customer's expectations. One key element is your unique selling proposition, or USP. This is a short statement about what differentiates you from your competitors and why customers should choose you. Famous USPs include better ingredients, better pizza, save money, live better. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. When developing your USP, think about the value your business offers that your competitors don't. With your brand defined and your identity established, it's time to execute with confidence. Develop the emotional, visual, and practical elements people will associate with your company. Come up with a color palette and a logo. Decide how you want your brand to look. We recommend using a professional to help with this. Determine your voice. How will your employees sound on the phone, in emails, and on your website? Your brand's voice should be consistent across all communications. Develop a slogan or tagline. This should reflect your USP in brief. For example, every kiss begins with K is K Jewelers slogan. Create materials. Your website, uniforms, brochures, and email signatures should all reflect your brand. Ensure consistency across all media to avoid confusing your audience. And there you have it, a brand strategy that you, your employees, and your customers will identify as uniquely you. If you're looking for marketing assistance, give us a call. We're here to help small businesses with both online and offline marketing.